Thank you, thank you, and welcome. Yes, it's uh, points and pounds time again as we begin another week on the Pyramid Game, and we have indeed one contestant returning from Friday, but first of all, it's my great pleasure to welcome a celebrity partner debutante, Howard's Way star, Susan Gilmore. <laughs> now, we all know, of course, Susan, that Howard's Way is a <clears throat> BBC show, but it, it is shot in TBS country, isn't it? Yes, it's uh, shot all around Hampshire, the Hamble, uh, Lymington, mm. all around that area. Do you like messing about in boats? I mean, actually, you, yourself? How, yeah, how, I love it. I yeah? love it. But since I became managing director of Relton, I don't really get out in the boats anymore. It's no, a bit of a shame. Of course not. Oh. No, but this is what promotion does for you. <laughs> I see. know. Good I know. to have you on the show Thank anyway. Welcome much. along. Yeah. Let's meet the gentleman who's partnering uh, Susan uh, from Ivor Heath in Buckinghamshire. We welcome Gerald Hansen. Smart chap there, Gerald. Tell us what you do for a living, please. Well, I run a small company that distributes uh, porcelain giftware. Porcelain, what, glass, all that sort of stuff? Your ornaments, uh, figurines, vases, collector plates, that sort of thing. Only with all that around, you should have a really smashing time on the show. <laughs> anyway. Good to have you here. Gerald and Susan, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Yes, we welcome a man now by his very presence proves that man doth not live by bread alone, Giles Watling. <laughs> Terrific show, of course, last year. Oswald got married. Oh, oh yes. It wasn't a dry eye in the house. <laughs> what, what is it about the, the humour of the show which is so special, do you think, Giles? Well, I think that it's, uh, well, it's, it's not a soap. And Carl is not frightened of going for the poignant moments, but she always looks at the funny side of life. Mm. I think it works very well. Absolutely. Well, good to have you with us today on the show, Giles. And now we welcome back from Friday. Already she has won £200, a formidable <laughs> contestant, <laughs> Dot Perrier. <laughs> Now, just in case you weren't with us on Friday, let me tell you that uh, Dot is a development worker and drama worker for a children's charity. And you do crosswords as well, don't you, Dot? Eh? Very badly. You know, I'd like one day to finish the Guardian crossword. Oh, well, really. <laughs> All yeah. by myself. 1992, when we go into Europe, I think. I mean, <laughs> what, what is the key about doing a good crossword, do you think? Uh, you've got to know the, the, the key to each individual compiler because they've all got different right. sort of things they like doing. Sure. Well, good to have you back on the show. Wish you luck today. We have Dot and Giles. <laughs> OK, as you know, there are six categories on our playboard here, and we're going to pop them at you right now. Let's see what we've got to start off with here. Antifreeze, vacant expression, on the house, a whole bunch of them up there. And, of course, there are seven words in each category. And one by one, we'll go through them. And as we progress on the game, we'll hear these noises first. For a correct answer, if one of the words is used by a describer or part of the word, it's a breach of the rules when you hear this. And when the special lucky seven category comes into play, this is what you hear. And there will be an extra special prize on offer when that comes up. Right, well, we always start with our lady celebrity. And a smile away there, long as you may, Susan. What are you going to choose? <laughs> Uh, snap decision. Snap decision you'll go for. Right. And we have seven things associated with the word break. Okay. And your example is mirror. We have seven more of those. 30 seconds start now. Um, things that you sell in your shop. Uh, uh, porcelain. Made of China. Uh, cups, saucers, yes, crockery. Uh, yes. Uh, you put this on a gramophone and you play it. Uh, record. Yes. Something you make to somebody. Um, Promise. Yes. Uh, when you're tired, you go for a... Uh, uh, a rest. Uh, yes. Um, this is what you do. A tango is one. A uh, dance. Yes. Um, opposite to leg. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you are doing very well there. That's not a bad start indeed. They've got five points. Right then, Giles, what takes your fancy up there? Oh, well, I think I'll go for the archers. <laughs> <laughs> da -de -da. Right, we have seven words associated with archery. Your example is Sherwood. We've got seven more. 30 seconds on the clock. It starts now. A uh, thing you draw? Uh, bow. Uh, uh, on top of someone's head. Apple? The shot through, yes. Um, the thing you aim at? Uh, target. Yes. Uh, the, the man who got one in the eye? Uh, um, uh, uh, royal. Uh, got, oh, got one um, in the eye. Uh, uh, Harold. Yes. Uh, the, 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 it's called a fletching on, on, the, end of the, on the end of the arrow. Uh, um, on the end of the arrow. Uh, this feathers. end of the arrow, that's it. Uh, the thing you put the arrows in. Uh, um, pass. Uh, the, the, the man who sh shot one in, in the eye. <laughs> ah, yeah, Robin Hood riding through the glen it was, and uh, she stood on the bridge at midnight, her heart was all a quiver. We missed that one, but nevertheless, we have a draw at the moment. They, too, have five points.
Right, then, Gerald L. Bean, it's your first crack at this board. What would you like? Oh, let's try On the House, please. On the House. <laughs> that is, as you can see, there revealed the lucky seven, and there's a special pyramid prize on offer if you describe awfully well, and Susan gets all seven answer correctly, OK? Seven words associated with the House of Commons, and your example is Parliament, all right? And your 30 seconds start now. Uh, what they do at the end of a debate... Uh, they uh, take the vote. But, right. Uh, uh, what is carried to signify... The mace. Um, when they go out to vote, they go into the... Uh, Chamber? Uh, no, there's a, this sort of correspondent. They go through lobby. the... Lobby. Um, uh, the people who are against the... Uh, Opposition. Uh, uh, a draft bill is a something uh, this uh, a colour plain. Uh, uh, plain uh, it's it's the bill is drafted out in the papers and vote. Yes, a white paper we're looking there for, Sorry. of course. And I think they start green, then they go white, then they discuss it. It goes into committee, and about ten years green. later, maybe there's some legislation. And at the end of that, we find no prize, of course, but nine points. All right then, Dot, you've got three to choose from here and you're four points behind. What are you going to go for? Antifreeze. Antifreeze, <laughs> we have. <laughs> I don't know. Seven things associated with keeping us warm. Your example is an overcoat, OK? Right. We'll put 30 seconds on the clock for you and the time starts now. You put them on your hands. Gloves. Uh, you put it on your body and it's got sleeves and you put your head through it. Uh, and, no, and it's made of wool and uh, 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 woolly... A blanket. No, uh, um... Uh, uh, um, a duffel coat. No, a uh, pass. Uh, put it around your neck to keep you warm. That's scarf. Uh, it's a sort of wool. It's not angora. It's uh, it's uh, Aaron. A, another sort, uh, long and fluffy. Uh, um, pass. Pa a pass. Uh, what you do to keep somebody warm? You put your arms around them and you hug them, cuddle uh, them. Yeah. Uh, you put it on the bed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you missed out on the mohair there. Somebody once tried to tell me that came from gorilla's armpits, and I believed them. <laughs> anyway, at the end of that round, you've got eight points. <laughs> Two categories left, and you are just one point behind. Dot or Giles can now do the describing, whichever they choose. Who's going to do describing you here? Describe. OK. Right, Dot will, and choose one of the categories, please. Vacant expression, please. Right, OK. Oh. We have things... <laughs> things... Can, you've got one, guys. Yeah, yeah. Some things connected with job hunting. For instance, advertisement and your time starts now. Uh, you need these to get a job. You get certificates and all sorts of things like that. Uh, uh, qualifications. You, can, uh, you also need this to get a job when you've done previous jobs, similar uh, things. Experience, CV. Uh, you get this from your last employer. Uh, uh, a uh, reference. You, uh, when you want to finish your job, you hand in your... Uh, you, you, uh, notice. Yeah, you, you, you write something, you... You, 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 you... Uh, uh, it, it, pass. Pa pass. Uh, when you want a job, you have to write an... Uh, an application. Uh, the person who's in charge of you. The boss. Uh, when, when you go for, for your job... <laughs> <laughs> it's happened several times on this show, hasn't it? Almost getting one at the end. Interview, you'd have got it, I know, but you've moved on to 13 points. Well, that means in level crossing, you've got to get five here to win the game, you two over there, Sue and Gerald. And we have words associated with crossing the channel, OK? Your example is Dover. Right. You've got seven more in 30 seconds, starting now. This is a ship that you cross... Ferry. Yes. Uh, this is a boat that is uh, uh, on the air. Uh, for, um, no, it's uh, on the cushion of air. Yes. Um, uh, pass. Um, this is the um, booze you buy in a special... Uh, Duty-free. Yes. This is um, what the French eat. Um, Poisson. Escargot, it is uh, in French. Snails. Yes. Um, this is on the sea. You have these Waves. things. Yes. Um, it's a country which is next to France. Belgium. Yes. Um, this is what they're planning to build <laughs> under the water. Tunnel. Uh, yes, they're planning to build the tunnel, but we didn't need to get into that. With 14 points, Gerald and Susan are the winners. <laughs> Well, it went so well on Friday, didn't it, Susan? With two hundred pounds. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, Dot. Dot. <laughs> Susan is over there playing. Of course, Dot. Dotty Dot. You got yourself your uh, two hundred pounds on Friday, Lovely. and now you've got the special pyramid trophy, <gasps> which is something else, isn't it? Especially to have had you on the show. Lovely. Thanks for being with Thank us. You. Of course, you play again in part two, Giles. Yes. In the meantime, we're going to join Susan and Gerald and play for pounds. <laughs> Right, it's all categories this time, as you know, rather than individual words, you've got to get phrases up there. Choose to sit on your hands, if you will. You don't necessarily have to, but don't wave them around, please, no, whatever right. you do, all right? Uh, 
You're looking very calm, cool and collected about this, which is uh, the way to be, I think. You know, we've got 60 seconds on the clock. It's all appearance. Yeah, it's, all <laughs> it's going like that inside, I know. Absolutely. 60 seconds on the clock and your time starts now. Um, this is um, uh, an instrument that tells the time and... It, clock? Yes, um, but there are, like, tick-tock is one of these. Uh, alarm clock. No, uh, it is actually what... Uh, a speaking clock. No, pass. Um, this is what you spread on. It is a kind of thing you spread on toast or bread. Uh, butter, it marmalade. Is a, uh, um, it is a kind of... Um, uh, preserve. Um, another word for preserve. Uh, jam. Yes. It uh, is a kind of... Um, uh, oh, uh, type of preserve, type of jam. Um, now, this is something you drive around in, but it is very old and it has a special name. Old banger. <laughs> no, uh, uh, vintage car. Uh, they're very valuable. Another name for uh, vintage. Antique. Um, um, veteran. Uh, veteran yes. cars. Um, these are. Um... <laughs> oh, a shame. Now, go on. Give me a round of applause. Give me a round of applause there. Very difficult ticking, the alarm or whatever. You got the veteran car eventually, which was very good. I'm reliably informed there's a difference between veteran and vintage. Well, that wasn't quite a vintage performance. We'll see how you get on in part two. We'll join you right then in a moment or two on the Pyramid Game. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed. I think we fed them on something special during the break. And uh, welcome back to uh, part two of the Pyramid Game for this Monday. Now, you know that uh, Gerald has got himself £50 playing with Susan in the first part of the game. He's now popped across to partner Giles. Therefore, Susan Gilmore has a new contestant to partner. She is Fiona Mulholland. Uh, married with two children, but a very busy life as well, in addition to that. Tell us what you do then, Fiona. Um, well, I teach part-time. I'm a further education teacher, and I teach typing. <laughs> do and you have any time for hobbies or anything like that? Not, not a lot, not a lot. I do enjoy a bit of gardening and cooking, you know, a bit of gardening, having a bit of friends around. Busy girl all around, eh? And one day you want to go to Hawaii, eh? Hawaii, one of these days, yeah. Hawaii. Yes. <laughs> why, why particularly there? You're Tom Selleck fan or something? Well, not especially, not especially, no, no. It's just... It's just what I've seen on television, I suppose. You I know? see, yes. All those waves yeah, and the, the muscly yeah. chaps. And, oh, well, welcome to the show. Nice to have you. <laughs> Fiona Mulholland, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> OK, then, let's look at the board. Pop a few pyramids for me, if you would. Let's see what we got coming up here. Till later, well received. Mass meeting, get your hand in. Pending appeal and springtime. There are seven words in each of those categories. What lies behind them, goodness knows. But we'll find out as the game moves on. Susan, it's you to start again. Uh, springtime. Spring. Oh. <laughs> well, that, as we know already, is the special Lucky 7 category. There it is on the board. And if you do awfully well, and uh, we manage to get all seven guests correctly here, Fiona, there is our Pyramid Prize, a special one for you. Springtime, we have words associated with bed, all right? Our example, <laughs> your example is headboard and 30 seconds start now. Um, when you're not married, you're called single. Yes. Um, these grow in the garden. They're, they're very pretty. You pick them and put them in a vase. Flowers. Yes. Um, when two children are born at the same time... Twins. They're... Yes. Uh, you put this as an alternative to blanket and sheets. Duvet. Yes. Um, when you actually make up a bed with uh, sheets and blankets... You, you make it. Um, <laughs> cover it. Uh, uh, pass. Um, this is a bed which has... <laughs> Shame, and of course, by the very fact that they had to pass on one, it means there's no special pyramid prize. Nevertheless, you've got more than half the points available. Four points. <laughs> right then, Giles, the fan club wants you to pick what? Get your hand in. All right, fine. <laughs> we have things you find in your pocket, all right? Right. And your example is a bus ticket. We have seven more of those. 30 seconds okay. start now. Right, things you start a car with. The keys. Yes. Uh, loose. Change. Yes. Uh, you quite often, the coins fall through this. A hole. Yeah. Uh, something you blow your nose on. Handkerchief. No, 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 made of paper. Uh, uh, tissue. Yes. 
Uh, th things you, you light a cigarette with. Matches. Yes. Um, stuff that just catches in your turn -ups. Fluff. Yes. Uh, a thing you, f you find where other people live. Uh, addresses. Yeah, uh, Address book. Yes. Yeah, that's very good. Very good. <laughs> the matching minds of the two Gs over there, and that gives them seven points. Okay, a little bit of work to do here then, ladies. Uh, Fiona, what's your fancy up there? Um, pending appeal, please. Pending appeal, right. And it's another one of these again from our pattern bill. Seven things done with potatoes. Oh, right. <laughs> your example is mash. We have seven more. 30 seconds start now. Um, put them in the pan with water. Heat the oil. Heat the oil? Up. In, um, with oil. With uh, oil, shallow. Chips. Uh, no, you uh, sauté potatoes. Ne nearly fried. Yeah, that's right. Um, what you said just before. Boiled. Uh, no, no. sauté yes. chips. Um, put them in the ground with a lot of earth on top of them um, to make new potatoes you grow, grow them. out. No, but they are the actual P plate of plant. Um, knife and fork. Put them in your mouth. Eat. Um, in the oven. In the jackets. Bake. <laughs> yeah, that's what we do with the oven. Of course, is bake them. We have moved on now to nine points. Two behind the fellas, of course, but they have a turn in hand. And, uh, Gerald, it's your selection we're waiting for. Oh, let's try mass meeting, please. OK, let's do that. And it's things associated with a church. Vicar Oswald likes steeple, <laughs> all right? And you've got seven more of those. 30 seconds start now. Uh, what uh, you burn that has Incense. a smell. Uh, um, you walk down it. Aisle. Uh, these people are, are the people who sing. A uh, uh, qu qu choir. Um, right. This is what they sing. Uh, hymns. Um, uh, church. Uh, uh, poor as a church. Mouse. Uh, the plural. A uh, mice. Uh, um, this is the money that's taken up is called uh, the, the collection. Um, uh, the, the, the ding dong. Uh, the bells. The, church bells. Uh, the bell ringer. Yes, Campanology. Very good. Very good indeed. <laughs> Well, of course, in red, Jazz is only playing a part, but I think after that he could take it up professionally. They've got 14 points. <laughs> OK, choice of the final two, well received, and till later we have. Who's going to describe? I think Fiona is, aren't you? You've decided to do that. And which will you choose? Um, well received, please. Well received. Things associated with a television set. And your example is a screen which you have in front of you at this very moment. We have seven other words for you to describe in 30 seconds, starting now. A lot of people put it underneath to record Video programs. Um, they use a little button on the seat to change channels. Remote control. Um, it, it's in the sky and it takes satellite. That's right. um, telegraphs. From one telegraph to another telegraph pole, you have lots Wire. of them. No, y yes, but Aero. just think of one straight one that pass. Um, the man that comes to fix television is an... A repairman? No, a civil... Engineer. That's right. Um, a television that's going to have ten channels. It's a type of cable. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Ten channels, umpteen channels. Yeah. Cable we'll be getting to there. And it means the girls have 13 points. We have no need to go back to another category because Giles and Gerald have won with 14. <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm sorry, ladies, uh, but I think you, you did match mine there fairly well. I mean, 13 points is not a bad score, actually, after mm -hmm. those rounds there. Enjoyed yourself, Fiona, Very, you? very much indeed, yes. Good, good. Well, yeah. we're very, very pleased to have had you on the programme. You take away no money, but you do have the Special Pyramid Trophy. And our congratulations and thanks for making our day, because it's been good to have you here. Thank you very And the same much. goes for you as well, Susan. I hope you've had a good time. Yeah, great time. Thank yes, you can much. you get promoted any further now? <laughs> <I wonder? No? laughs> maybe, maybe. Maybe get behind the camera and become director. Yeah. Huh? Well, good to have had you with you. Thank you very nice much. round of applause for Susan and Fiona, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> right now, though, there is important business in hand, because Gerald and Giles are going to play for pounds. <laughs> Oh, 
Right, we'll give you a little bit of time to settle back here. I don't want to rush you into anything, do we, Gerald? No, no, nothing. Well, just tell, why have you decided to do this this time rather than the other way around? Because you guessed before. Uh, just, uh, just to vary the changes. Yes. I think it's easier to describe than really? guess. Uh, well, I wasn't very good at guessing last time. No, well, you got £50 pounds already, done. haven't you? Well, you have a chance to come back again, of course, tomorrow to play one more time and see if you qualify then. Are you quite happy with this? Yes, yes. yes of course you are. Right. Well, well, of course, you can move your arms around, but you must not, Gerald, under any right. circumstances. I mean, a little bit, and it is okay, but please don't start pointing and directing and that sort of stuff, okay? Do my best. Don't use any of the words that you see up there on the screen. And remember the little codes that you're going to pass between each other, so you get your types and things that might, people might say. I really don't know what's coming up then, I promise you, because I haven't seen the game. But nevertheless, you know there are some key code phrases which you must remember, and lots of lists of words, okay? Right. All right. That's the pep talk ending with. <laughs> we will put 60 seconds on the clock. It will start now. Um, these are, are pastimes uh, that sports. everybody liked. Uh, kind of that sport. you play uh, at a certain small square table uh, um, uh, with a pack of something. Uh, uh, cards, types of uh, card games. Uh, uh, but they're their favourite. Uh, kind, of, kind of family card games. Uh, um, family games. The, the, p people like them. Favourite games. Like them. Uh, Another word for favourite. Uh, fond. Uh, Pass. Uh, this is methods of uh, consuming food. Ways of eating. Um, this is um, types of creatures that are in uh, uh, tall trees. In, kinds of apes. Uh, no, uh, things you'd see at, at a zoo. Uh, kinds of squirrels. Uh, uh, <laughs> pass. Uh, these are famous uh, sportsmen who kick a ball around. Uh, famous footballers, well-known uh, footballers. Um, uh, this is uh, um, cities I in our country. Uh, uh, provincial cities. Um, what happened? British cities. Yeah, they were struggling <laughs> away there, but they were working hard at it. Let's hear it for them. <laughs> yeah, tough that. Now, turn around, we could maybe go through this together, Giles, here. Popular. I don't know what sort of word you would like to have had for popular. Favourite. Favourite, yes. Get to it. I suppose yeah. all the people love it, maybe, yes, because yeah. people move yes, on to yeah. popular. Mm -hmm. Jungle animals. Oh, what do you say? Lions, tigers. I don't know, tigers you don't I, get I in jungles, in the I don't get them in yeah, India, I think. No, I <laughs> so that, was, that was a tough one, the two. Yes, yes, the, the list is easier. Well, list, yes. remember that for tomorrow's show, because you're coming back then, of course, to play again, right? Okay. We know not, of course, whether you're qualified to play for pounds after you've played for points, but nevertheless, remember that. In the meantime, let's add it up. You've got 50, 75 pounds to add to the 50 pounds that you've got already, and that's uh, 125 pounds, is that right? Yes, indeed. Well, I expect a company director to know things. <laughs> <laughs> and in the meantime, also, Giles, thank you very much indeed for playing thank the game you. today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Yeah. Continuing success to your career, of course, including the appearances in Bread. In the meantime, thank you very much indeed for joining us today. We'll see you tomorrow at the same time with another round of The Pyramid Game. <laughs>